sure. That's a good thing. That shrimp lure, dude. Good one. Well, I made a rookie mistake. What's going on guys? It is a beautiful South Texas winter evening. I normally don't fish the evenings just because I'm always so busy during the day or working. But it's about like four o'clock and I guess start at six. So I got a little window today. If you guys can't see, look at all that mud right there behind me. The tides have been so low lately. It has been insane. That's expected, you know, here in the winter time, but got the waders on. Got my van stall back. I know yeah, if you guys watch my videos for a while, I used to always use this reel. I had to send it off to get maintenance. Finally got it back, so I'm glad I'm gonna be able to break it in today. Should be good as new. Um, but yeah, we're gonna walk out here and do a bit of waiting. We're gonna hit this uh, deep drop off we have out here in hopes of catching some speckled trout. So we'll see you guys once we start getting on them. Look at this, man. Usually all of this is covered in water. It's just all land right now. We're going to be fishing this channel and basically it looks like the water is only in the channel right now like we're basically going to walk up straight into the channel and that's that's where we're going to be fishing crazy man how, how low these tides get during the winter time i haven't waited out here in quite some time there's some days where you can really get on a good trout bite the water looks good, clarity-wise. I can see the current. Looks pretty good, man. I'm going to start off with the down south. If I need a switch, I will. i got some shrimp lures. Got some NLBN. We'll see what we're working with. Look at all this current here. This looks really good. You can see the color change. It gets deep right away right here. Wow, look at that already going I, I could stand right here shin deep right here I don't even really gotta walk in far it drops off instantly right here I didn't check my drag hopefully it's okay let that down south sink down there it's working nice and slow it's not cold today but it has been cold last couple days right now it's not too bad it's only about like maybe upper 60s right now it feels really nice right now but these trout if they're down here in this channel they're probably gonna be down deep hugging the bottom decided to switch to this shrimp lure looks just like a voodoo shrimp but this is the mojo tackle shrimp some guy in Louisiana sent me some of these lures, and I've caught some fish on them. Uh, I think this is the Mardi Gras color, but yeah, very similar to the voodoo shrimp. I want to give it a try. This thing's got a nice heavy jig head. I'm not sure how heavy, but it feels about a quarter, maybe a little bit even heavier than a quarter. But I think it'll get good. And this current, it's a little smaller profile, and it's got a little bit more darker colors to it that down south is really uh, that that pink down south is really better for like clear water oh my god that was a fish I thought I was snagged on the bottom that thing started trying to pull what the heck did I hook I didn't even feel a bite okay first cast I don't know if I like snag something. I don't know what the heck that was. I thought I had snagged bottom. So I've been snagging like little like pieces of like oysters with the down south. That was something really heavy and he was like trying to start to swim and he pulled a pulled hook. But anyways, I just think that this color is a lot better for the water clarity we have right now. It's not super bad water clarity, like it's not like chocolate brown, but it's it's a little stained, you know, and you don't really want to throw 
real bright colors in stained water. You want to throw more darker natural colors. I don't know what I hooked right down that first cast. There's one. That's a good fish. That shrimp lure, dude. That shrimp lure. I knew it. Ah, oh, dude, this is a solid trout. Walk him up on this bank. I'm keeping fish. Oh, yeah, it's a keeper all day. As soon as I switch presentations and color, got the bite I've been looking for, man. Yeah, it's a keeper trout. All day long. On that mojo tackle shrimp right there. I got them all in the sand, but I'm keeping them for sure. That's like a 17. That mojo shrimp in there. Heck yeah, man. I'm gonna get them strung up. Let's get right back out there. Hopefully they start biting. Yes. I didn't measure them, but that's an easy 17 inch trout. I guess it'd be like 17 inches. Dude, that was the what second cast of this mushroom shrimp? The first cast I thought I had snagged something on bottom. I guess it was a fish, man. Whew, I can get pretty close too. <sighs> you know, I just switched lures. I was talking about the colors being a, a factor. So that could be a factor too, but also the presentation. I mean this is a shrimp. In the down south is more kind of like representing like a, like a sand eel, I guess, kind of. <laughs> I was kind of hesitant to switch lures, man. I really thought this down south was going to get it done. But after being out here for like 30, 45 minutes, not getting a single bite, I was kind of getting worried. more people coming out here now as I was landing that fish two more guys walked up and then now there's people over there at the bridge well I made a rookie mistake I had my trout you know strung up and I just had the stringer you know stuck in the ground and I thought you know him being right there like basically on shore pretty much just barely in the water I thought he'd be fine but I turn around and there is no stringer and no trout to be found I feel really bad because that trout now has a stringer attached to him but I do I mean I do think he can free himself of it just swimming around there was no float, that was just a little cheapy rope stringer. Oh, that was a bite. Dang, that was a bite. He'd probably be a keeper, but no stringer. I got a release now. Another one of that voodoo. Or that mojo. It's got some scuffs. Yeah, he's kind of small. No, nah, he doesn't even make it. Hey, that's trout number two. He also hit pretty close. There's one. I think I just had a bunch. I don't know how big he is. Alright, it's sundown. Nice. Yeah, he looks like he's like 15. Measure him. 
Yeah, he's like 15. Cool. Check it out, you guys. After I caught that that 15, very next cast, GoPro died. Our GoPro turned off on me. Got this little dink. There it goes. There's one. That's a good one. That was a good dump. Sundown bite. I've caught three in like the last five casts. He's kind of towards the smaller side. Yeah, he's not quite 15. Smoking that lure though. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for today. I know not the most action-packed video, but fishing was really slow during those two to three weeks with the tide being real low. But if you guys stuck around to this point, I want to show you a little clip of what's to come next week. We switch things up, and you're not going to want to miss it. What's good is he's running. He is close to rock. Look at that reel. Big wave coming, too. So...